All right, so when we're talking about digging now with our angles, so we understand the push-pull lift, we understand our open and closed angles. Now we're talking about how to create a good position with our body. Obviously it starts with the feet, which we'll get to later, but we're just talking about how to set our platform up, how our torso comes into that position. So if my goal is to pass to target here, see the card is target. My goal is to pass to target. I wanna to try to keep my torso towards the target as much as possible. If my torso turns this way, it makes my platform angles really hard and I have to do these kind of pulls like this. So I want to play the ball by facing this way. Obviously the higher level I play, I have to be quicker to cut the ball up and play. Okay, so torso facing forward as much as possible. Obviously I have to shift my feet sometimes to play the torso this way, but um, we'll get to that later. Now I want to play the angles of my platform. My torso sets my platform angles up. So my torso's forward, I can play this. My torso is this way, I have no choice but to play some pull and I don't want to turn. On the platform angles, we teach this cutoff system where we're trying to play the ball in front of us. So we create this kind of barrier where the ball is coming at me. I want to create this barrier where the ball does not get behind this. So we teach this where if the ball is here, I'm good. If the ball's there, I'm good. It's still in front of this barrier. But once the ball gets back past us, we have to shift our hips back or we're going to end up getting turned. So on this next drill that we'll kind of talk about, um, I want to make sure Coach Jeff is playing the ball in front of him, moving, playing the ball in front of him, and not letting his platform get behind him. 